sent me to, I'm from Missouri, Cape Girada. Okay. Uh, I was drafted there, they sent me to St. Louis. From St. Louis, went to Fort Custer, Michigan, and then to Camp Chaffee, Arkansas. I was a field warrior. Field water. Oh, okay, yeah. good. Bring it up the same. Yeah. in Japan. Uh, I first went to Sendai. And then they brought up for I spent a, a little time in Tokyo around the Imperial Palace. Yeah. Look, at the, look at the <laughs> moat around the Imperial Palace. Yeah. Where did you get out of the army? Uh, Fort Custer. Uh, I don't know where that is. Uh, not Fort Custer. Carson. Yeah. And then uh, did you stay there or how did you get the border? Uh, pardon, how did I get? No, then I went back to Missouri. Okay. And then this one. Was <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then uh, I went to uh, Wisconsin in uh, 1960. And what were you doing when you went to Wisconsin? I drove a driving truck. I drove okay, a truck. You drove. Okay. And then we came to Florida in 1989, and we had two restaurants in St. Cloud, the coffee cup we started in, and where Frank is at now, we started in, was the other place. And you just got for driving, that's how you got to Florida? <laughs> or was the other one he left here, out the whole Wisconsin part. Oh, okay. Yeah. To Wisconsin and then they got her. Yeah. <laughs> new state, new kid. <laughs> it's time to move on, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then he retired down here. Oh, yeah. Cool. Thank goodness he, he didn't have me down here. Right? Yes. Yeah. Not really a retirement. Yeah. yeah. I, worked, I worked all the time uh, in the restaurant since I've been here. Well, I worked in a laundromat once. And Kmart? I worked Kmart a little bit. And uh, uh, the rest of the time, uh, and uh, I quit work on uh, the 20th of November. Right? Now, I noticed you're in the VFW. So, where did you qualify for that? Well, I was in Japan. Oh, in the. Uh, during the occupation? I'm in the American Legion now. I didn't serve. I riding on his coattails. I'm auxiliary. Okay. Well, you know why we're here today? Pardon? You know why we're here today? You know why we are here today? Uh, not really, but that's uh, my so, fault. <laughs> well, we were driving down the road, and somebody said, "You know, a vet lives in there." I said, "Really? Yeah. Wait, let's go look." Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're here to honor you for your service. Navy. I hate water. I can't swim either. <laughs> <laughs> when we sailed out of San Francisco in 1951, that first wave under the Golden Gate, I was stationed in Alabama. Yeah. Yeah. I can't swim. I never could, still can. You're lucky you're still here. They say it floats. <laughs> I, just, I, I, I can't float. I'm never honored for what he or she received. Honor has always been the reward for what he or she gave. We are gathered here today to honor you for what you gave for your service to the country. My name is John Creighton, and I'm an Army veteran. It is my great honor and privilege to present you today with a cornerstone suit. Permission to stay. I remember when I got my physical. We was in the, we were on the phone, doctors on each side of it. We got Happy. shot on each yeah, side. Yeah. yeah. A lot of fun, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of a grateful nation, the staff and volunteers of Cornerstone Hospice of Elevator Care, and the Hospice Veterans Partnership of Florida, I would like to pay a special tribute to you for your military service to America and for advancing the hope of freedom and liberty for all. For your service. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
your service to our country and for your dedication and courage to keep America free. We are grateful for you and for your family and to say thank you. Thank you.